Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today we will learn about the system of equations in which under this topic we will learn about the simultaneous equations. All right, for the simultaneous equations, so we look at the equations with two variables and also the equation with two variables. For example, to see the equations with two variables, in this case we have the variable x and also y, but in the equations with three variables we have for example like this where we have x y and also z so there are three variables there right so in this case the variables are x and also y but in this case we have three variables x y and z right but today we'll fo focus on the simultaneous equations in two variables suppose we have the first equation we call it as the linear simultaneous equations in two variables because it does not involve any quadratic or cubic equations inside these simultaneous equations. Therefore, solving this one, we can use two methods. The first one, let's say we try to use the substitution method. Substitution method. Technique penggantian. We try to label this one as the first equation and the second one as the second equation. And then we have to modify, like for example, I modify the second equation to be uh, x equal to 6 plus 5y and we know that this is the third equation and it comes from 2 so what we should do is to substitute x equal to 6 plus 5y inside the first equation because it comes from 2 right please don't go this way you if you're substituting this then you are going like nowhere because it's you know kind it's kind of loop here all right so please take note that it will go to 1 because it comes from 2 so, meaning to say that uh, the variable x in this case will be substituted with 6 plus 5y. Alright, so what we do here, for example, right, we try to substitute 3 into 1. Therefore, we have 2x will become 6 plus 5y plus y equal to 1. Expand this. We'll get 12 plus 10y plus y, which is equal to 1. And then I'll have 11y equal to 1 minus 12. So 11y equal to 1 minus 12, which is equal to negative 11. Therefore, y equal to negative 1. All right, now to find the value of x, we just simply substitute, all right? We just simply substitute y equal to negative 1 into 3. Because we need to find the value of x, so we just need to substitute the value of y here. Therefore, we have x is given by 6 plus 5. Now, y has become this negative 1. Therefore, we have y equal to negative 1. And then we simplify this one. It will give us 6 minus 5. Therefore, x is equal to 1. So, we have two answers here. The x equal to 1 and also y equal to negative 1. So this is the first method which is called as the substitution method. We have the second method. We know we, we call it as the elimination method. Or in Malay, we call it as the penghapusan. Alright, to do the elimination method, so we have to arrange such that x is on x. Like for example, 2x plus y equals 1. And x on x, y on y, and z, uh, sorry, the number is on the number. So we have minus 5y equal to 6. The second uh, procedure is to make the variable, uh, right, the variable that we're going to eliminate the same coefficient. In this case, suppose we want to eliminate x. We want to remove x from this equation. So what we should do is to multiply, to, to make the coefficient here 2, so that they have the same coefficients here. So we have to multiply the second equation with 2. Alright, so I'll just write simply right here. Right. So I'll write the first equation first without changing anything. But the second equation, this one, will be multiplied by 2. When we multiply everything by 2, we get 2x minus 10y equal to 12. Please take note that we have to multipl multiply 2 with each term here. Alright, now, now we have this one. Right, this is the first equation and this is the second equation now. Now, we know that we are going to eliminate x, alright? So, in this case, we just need to use the addition or subtraction. If we add x and then we'll get 4x, we are not going to eliminate x here. But our purpose is to eliminate x, therefore, we have to use subtraction here. 
When 2x minus 2x, it will become 0. And then we're going to read y minus negative 10y. Therefore, we have, right, y minus negative 10y equal to 1 minus 12, all right? So I have 1 minus 12. I simplify this one, I have 11y, which is equal to negative 11, therefore y equal to a negative 1. To find the value of x, we can substitute inside either 1, the first equation, or the second equation. Suppose I substitute inside the second equation, so we have to substitute y equal to a negative 1 into 2. Therefore, we have something like, right, x minus 5. Now, the variable value y will come, right? y has become a negative 1. This is equal to 6. Therefore, we, I need to simplify this one. I have x plus 5, which is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 minus 5. Therefore, I have x is equal to positive 1. Now, we have the same value as the using the substitution method. So, I've shown you two methods now, substitution and elimination. You can use either one to solve the simultaneous equations in linear simultaneous equations. All right. Now, let's move to this one. Suppose we have something like this, all right? So, um, you know, to make it easy, it's better for you to write in, you know, w uh, without having the fraction. So, what I do is to multiply two, sorry, you multiply two here and also here. For this case, you multiply two here, all right? Therefore, now this, our new equation will become 3x plus 2y equal to 8. Another one will become 2y minus 2, sorry, 2x minus 2y, which is equal to 7. Right, now, if you want to use the substitution, sorry, elimination method, so it's easy in this case because we can, uh, we note that the coefficients of y has become 2. They have the same coefficients, now we can eliminate them, right? So by elimination, we can, to eliminate y in this case, we just need to use addition here. Right, because 2y plus negative 2y will become 0. So I just need to add two, 3x with 2x. So we have 5x here. Yeah? Right? Let me write it in a proper way. So 5x, which is equal to five, 8 plus with uh, 7, we get 15. Therefore, x will become 3. Right? So that is by using elimination method. Right, now, our purpose is to find the value for y. Suppose I substitute in the first equation here. Right, so I substitute, substitute x equal to 3 into 1. Therefore, I have, right, so 3x will become 3 plus with 2y, which is equal to 8. So this one, 6 plus 2y, which is equal to 8. Therefore, I have 2y equal to 8 minus 6. So 2y, which is equal to 2, and y is equal to 1. So I got the value for the x and also the value for y. Right now, let's look at the third example here. It is now not a linear simultaneous equation because we involve the quadratic part here. Right. So what we can do is, the first step is to modify the what do we call the, the linear equation? This is the linear equation. So we need to modify it to become, right, for example, let's make x as a subject. So I have x which is equal to negative y minus 2. Right? Now what I do is, all right, so this is the first equation, right? Let me just write it again, all right? So let's, let me just write the third equation from, all right, so this is the first equation, this is the second equation. I write well, x equal to negative y minus 2. Therefore, now this is the third equation. I just need to, right, because it comes from 2, of course, we need to substitute into 1. Right, so substitute the third equation into the first equation. Now we have, all right, so x has become, all right, in the first equation, so we just need to, Substitute x with a negative y minus 2. Therefore, we have a negative y minus 2 squared minus a 34 equal to a negative y squared. We note that this is a quadratic equation. So, 
to solve the quadratic equation, we have to make the right side become zero. Therefore, we have to expand this one. It will give us y square. And then I have a positive uh, plus a negative. All right. Mag plus 4y. And then I have plus 4. All right. All right. Now, that one uh, minus 34. All right. So, because our aim is to make this part zero so i have to bring this negative y squared to the left side i have become positive y squared so now it's actually equal to zero right now we have to write in a general form therefore we have 2y squared plus 4y minus 30 this one is equal to zero you can actually divide everything with 2 therefore i have y squared plus 2y minus 15 which is equal to zero all right, so you can now check using your calculator. All right, you can actually solve this quadratic equation using the calculator 1, 2, and negative 15. All right, now you have actually x equal to 3 and also negative 5. All right, so actually you can still factorize this part. Right, so this expression, this quadratic expression can be factorized to become all right. So now it becomes all right if you factorize this one. This is actually y plus 5 and y minus 3, right? Mm -hmm. How to do this one, all right? Uh, suppose, all right, so you need to consider the 5 and uh, the, the 15. What is the factor for 15? So 15 can be 15 multiplied by 1 and then 15 can be, you know, kind of um, 2 and 3. Sorry, 3 and 5, all right? 5 and 3. 5 and 3. Since it is negative, so one of them should be negative. Like for example, you need to consider 15 with negative 1 and negative 15 with positive 1. If we add this one, it will become a negative. You add 15 with negative 1. So this one will give you 14. This one will give you negative 15 plus 1 again, negative 14. But the value here is actually a positive 2. So we have to find which one that makes it positive 2. Right, so either negative 5 multiplied with 3 or 5 multiplied with negative 3. If you add this one, negative 5 plus with 3 will give us a positive, sorry, a negative 2. And this one will give us a positive 2. All right. So now we want a positive 2. Of course, the factor is actually x positive 5, x minus 3. So x plus, sorry, in this case, y plus 5, y minus 3. All right. Therefore, we can solve this quadratic equation. So y plus 5, which is equal to 0. Another one, y minus 3, which is equal to 0. So we have y equal to negative 5. In this case, y equal to 3. All right. But now, we have to find the value for x. So we have to substitute, all right? Substitute in the first one, y equal to negative 5, all right, into... Because we want to find x, so we can use the third equation here, into 3. Alright, so we have x is equal to a negative, a negative 5 minus 2. Simplifying this will give us 5 minus 2. x is actually equal to 3. The second one, we need to substitute the value, alright, substitute the value y equal to positive 3 into the third equation. Therefore, I have x which is equal to a negative 3 minus 2. x is actually equal to a negative 5. So, we have the very values where the solutions which is when y equal to negative 5, x equal to 3. Another one when y equal to 3, x equal to negative 5. So, we have two sets of equations. It's, yeah, alright? Both of them are the solutions. Sorry. Now, Let's go to number four, example number four here. Suppose we have this uh, equation, all right? So we know that the first one is called a linear equation. So this is the first equation, which is the linear equation. But the second equation is the uh, quadratic equation. Always we need to modify the linear equation. In this case, all right, the easiest way is to make y as the subject. I have y equal to 2 minus 3x. So this is labeled as the third equation we know that it comes from one so we have to substitute this into two all right which variable into two in the two in the in the second equation need to be substituted with this one 
So of course at y. So this place. So now we substitute. Right. Let me just write it. Right. So we substitute three into two. All right. When we substitute two a uh, three into two, therefore we have x square plus. Right now the variable y has become two minus three x. So this is square. All right. Square equal to forty nine. All right, uh, we know that this is a quadratic equation. So when it involves the quadratic equation, always we have to write in a general form, meaning to say that we have to make the right side of the equation become zero. In this case, we have to expand this bracket. So we have like x squared plus, okay, four uh, minus, uh, that one become a 12x, all right, uh, plus 9x squared equal to 49 or I bring this 49 to the left side, therefore I have minus 49 equal 0. And then I want to simplify this one, therefore I have all right, 9x squared with x squared, we get 10x squared minus 12x, all right, that one will become minus 45. This one will become 0. Okay, now you try to press your calculator, all right, so the Coefficient of the x squared is actually 10. The coefficient of x is actually negative 12. And the coefficient of, uh, what do we call? Uh, the constant is actually a negative 45. Right? So, if you press your calculator, you got the decimals value. So, alright. So, you have to write the formula for this one. Because we got decimals. We cannot factorize. So, we have to write the formula. Recall the formula for the, what do we call? Um... Uh, let me just recall the formula for the quadratic equation. So the solution is it will become a negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. You divide with 2a. So what is a in this case? Right? So this is a. Let me label it. This one is a, and this one is b, and this one is c. Right? In this case, therefore, I substitute inside this formula. I'm going to make use of this formula here. Right, therefore, I have a negative of negative 12 plus minus square root of right, a negative 12 square minus 4a, which is 10, and c, which is negative 45. Everything should be divided by 2a to multiply by 10. All right, you can actually simplify the the, the one which is inside the square root, all right, 12 plus minus square root of, all right. That one is actually uh, 12 square minus 4 multiplied with 10 with negative 45, all right. So this, this is actually 1944 over 20. When you solve for this one, all right, just now you already press your calculator, right? So... You get right 10 and negative 12 and a negative 45. Therefore, x will give you all right. You better take it um, four decimal places so 48045, comma. Another one will give us a negative 1.6045. But now we have just obtained the values for x because we are trying to solve this simultaneous equation. Of course, we also need to find the value for y. In this case, we have to substitute, all right? We have to substitute, let's say, for example, uh, x equal to uh, 2.8045 into the third equation because we need to find the value for y. Therefore, I have y which is given by 2 minus 3, I substitute with 2.8045. Alright, simplifying this one will give us, alright, 2 minus 3, uh, alright, 2.8045. This gives us a negative 6.4135. For the second one, we have to substitute, substitute, x which is equal to a negative 1.6045 into the third equation therefore i have y which is given y 2 minus 3 multiplied by negative 1.6045 
2 minus 3, negative 1.6045, I got 6.8135. So we have two solutions here, right? So the first set, which is given by x equal to this and y, which is given by this one. And another one, x equal to this and y equal to this one, right? Let me just write it, y equal to this. All right, so we have two solutions here. Right, so let's look at the next example in this case. All right, uh, it is actually a simultaneous equations in two variables, All right? But we have to modify a little bit because we see that the first equation, it actually involved the, what do we call, uh, index equation. We have to transform the index equation into, uh, what do we call the, um, linear equation or right you know in another form to to make it uh that way all right we have to modify the first equation here let's let's make the base which is two all right uh, so we have two to the power of x multiplied by two to the power of two we have y square plus with one and 128 is actually two to the power of uh, six no, 2 to the power of 7. Yes, 2 to the power of 7. Alright? So, since we have the same base here, alright? This is the same base. We can combine the base to be, you know, 2 to the power of x plus with 2y square plus with 2. And on the right side, it will give us actually 2 to the power of 7. We have one index on the left side, one index on the right side, and they have the same base. Therefore, I can compare the index. In this case, I need to compare this one with this one. Therefore, I obtain the third equation, which is given by x plus with 2y squared plus with 2, which is equal to 7. So, I simplify x plus 2y squared, which is equal to 7 minus 2. And then I've got 2x plus 2y square equal to 5. So this is the third equation, which is from 1. All right? All right? Now, we need to consider the second equation. We have to modify the second equation. All right, so maybe we have to use base 3 in this case. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So we have x outside there. You divide with, all right, 27 is actually 3 to the power of 3. We have y outside. All right, so 27, 3 to the power of 3. All right, so you can actually use the rule for index. If you have the same base, in this case, 3 divided with 3, so the index will become a subtraction. So 3 to the power of 2x, we use minus 3y, which is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Because the index is actually, the base is actually the same, so we can compare the index on the left and on the right. So I can write the uh, second equation as uh, 2x minus uh, 3y equal to 3. So this is the fourth equation. Now we have to solve the third and fourth equation as our new equations here, right? Because the third equation comes from 1 and the fourth equation comes from 2. So we just need to consider this equation. So what you can do, right? So uh, always, right? Uh, you can try, all right. In this case, you can actually try to uh, substitute three, right? So to or to make it easy, so let's just try. Um, all right. So I, I modify the fourth equation to become all right. So I I'll just write two x equal to. 3 plus 3y and then x is actually equal to 3 plus 3y divided by 2 right now i need to substitute the fifth equation inside 3 because it comes from 4 so i have something like all right uh, x will become 3 plus 3y over 2 plus 2y square equal to 5 now i need to you know, uh, move these two to this side, so I multiply. So I have, all right, 3 plus 3y plus with 4y squared plus with 10. 
So this is a quadratic equation. Always when we involve the quadratic equation, we have to write it in general form in which the right side of the equation should be zero. So I have 4y squared plus with 3y plus with 3, I bring this 10 to the left side, therefore it becomes a negative 10, equal to 0. So I have 4y squared plus with 3y minus 7, which is equal to 0. All right, we need to solve this equation, all right? So when you press your calculator, you can actually go, all right, so 3, negative 7. y equal to a positive 1, another one. y equal to, all right, you better write it in a fraction form, negative 7 over 4. All right, negative 7 over 4. So this one can be written as a y minus 1, y, sorry, this one is actually 4y plus 7 is equal to 0. Actually, you need to factorize, right? You need to factorize this equation, right? Okay. This one is, uh, sorry, this one need to be factorized and become that. The, the, the next line all right so you have two uh, values here now all right so you just need to find the value for x all right to find the value for x you can use the equation number five here all right so try to substitute right i try to substitute all right substitute uh, y equal to f one into equation number five therefore i have x which is given by 3 plus 3 multiplied by 1 divided by 2. I have 6 divided by 2. I have 3. For the second num second value, substitute y equal to negative 7 over 4 into equation number 5. Therefore, x will be given by 3 plus 3 multiplied by negative 7 over 4. You divide everything with 2. You can actually press your calculator. Right, so 3 plus uh, 3 and negative 7 over 4. Right, divided by 2, I have uh, the answer is actually a negative 9 over 8. So I have two sets of equations here. All right, so we are done with this one. All right, so let's look at the next one. All right, so uh, the same, almost similar to the previous one. It's just that we need to modify the first equation to become... Right, so this one will be modified as, all right. So I just need to write in the same base. So 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of y equal to 8 is actually 2 to the power of 3. In this case, 2 to the power of x multiplied with 2 to the power of y because they have the same base. Therefore, we can add the index. Right, so 2 to the power of 3. And, and then we have x plus y, which is equal to 3. So this is the uh, first equation, all right. For the second equation, Right, you can actually simply write, right, so 9 to, to remove the log, so it will become x squared plus with y squared equal to 9 to the power of 1. So, or simply x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So we have two equations here. So to solve these two equations, so we have to modify the linear equation, which is the first equation, to become like this, all right? So let's say we'll just write x equal to 3 minus y squared sorry uh, 3 minus y so this is the third equation so because it comes from 1 we need to substitute into 2 when we substitute x equal to 3 minus y into 2 therefore this variable x has changed so it will become a 3 minus y square plus with y square equal to 9 and we know that this is actually a quadratic equation so we have to expand the bracket so it will become 9 minus 6y plus with y square plus with y square equal to 9. Combining the y square will give us 2y square minus 6y uh, plus 9 minus 9 equal to 0. Alright, so this one will give us 2y square minus 6y equal to 0 because 9 minus 9 is 0. So we can factorize this one as 2y, y minus 3 actually. This one is equal to 0. So this is actually 2y equal to 0, another one y minus 3, which is equal to 0. Therefore, we obtain y equal to 0 divided by 2, which is 0. And this one is 0, y equal to 3. So we have two, uh, what do we call? Two values here. So when y equal to 0, so we obtain x is equal to 3 minus 0. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Another one when y 
we substitute into 3, right? right? When y equal to 3, therefore we have x equal to 3 minus 3, therefore x is actually equal to 0. So our status of equations should be y equal to 0, x equal to 3, or y equal to 3, x is equal to 0. So we have two equations here. Alright, now uh, let's look at the last example here in this case. All right, so it's very easy, right? So you just need to modify the first equation, all right, because it's the linear equation. So I can have it as, all right, for example, a negative y equal to 2 minus 8x. So I want to make it positive, therefore I have 8x minus 2. All right now, I just need to substitute the third equation, all right? Substitute the third equation, which is equation 3, into equation because it is actually from 1, so we need to substitute inside 2. <coughs> Alright, now at the variable y will be changed to 8x minus 2. Therefore, I have, all right, this one as 6x squared minus 2. All right, y has become 8x minus 2. This one equal to 10. All right, so you expand that one, it will become 16x plus with 4 equal to 10. Or you can, right, because this is a quadratic equation, so you have to bring that 10 to the left side. So it gives a 6x plus with 4 minus 10, which is equal to 0. So this is actually 6x squared minus 16x minus 6. This is equal to 0. Right, so before we can actually fact, uh, factorize this one, we can actually divide with uh, 2. So 3x squared minus 8x minus 4. Sorry. A minus 3 this gives us 0 all right try to press a calculator all right give 3 negative 8 and negative 3 so x is actually a positive 3 another one x is actually a negative 1 over 3 so this is actually x minus 3 and 3x plus 1 this is equal to 0 all right so we obtain the value for x, now we have to find the value for y. So when x is equal to 3, so we just need to use to make use of the third equation here, right? Because we need to find the value for y. When x is equal to 3, therefore y is equal to 8 multiplied with 3 minus 2. So that one is actually 24 minus 2. This gives us y, which is actually equal to 22. The second one, we have when y is equal to a negative 1 over 3. Therefore, I have y equal to, sorry, that one is x, right? When x is equal to a negative 1 over 3, therefore, I have y, which is given by 8 multiplied by negative 1 over 3 minus 2. This gives us negative 8 over 3 minus 2. All right, so simplifying this, negative 8 over 3 minus 2 will give us a negative of 14 over 3. So we have two sets of answers, yeah. all right? So that's basically the uh, simultaneous equations in two variables. In the next video, we'll look at how to solve the uh, simultaneous equations in three variables. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching this video.